very comprehensive statement which gave clear facts. And I challenged the government to contradict what I'd said. These other ones basically just talk and say hot air. I don't know which hot air, where that guy is, is coming from. And this is supposed to be majority leader of government. I think, you know, the, the matter was, refer, was directed at the executive, not at the legislature. So it is not work of Mr. and Mr. Chungwa to respond. I, I, I directed it to the people. But um, be that as it may, uh, we'll show him some political etiquette. Uh, the issues are raised and they're still valid. I want the government to show the memorandum of understanding that they've signed, signed between the government of the Republic of Kenya and the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the government of the United Arab Emirates. Not signed between the Minister for Energy and the uh, CEO of uh, uh, Aramco, just, uh, just a, a, a company. That G2G, because they call this G2G. G2G means that it's an agreement between those governments and the Kenya government. Let us see that MOU. Two, let them also show us tax returns. Uh, which uh, uh, as a result of this importation of this oil, how much tax has been paid by these companies, these shadowy companies that have been appointed to handle this cargo, this deal. Okay. And then show us also supplier purchase agreement. Let us see that. And tell us why EPRA boss, I mean, Sakip was, was involved in the negotiations of this contract, yet he's the one also who is here fixing prices. Uh, if that is not corruption, I don't know what corruption is. Uh, we, uh, those are very valid questions that I want this government to answer. Thank you. Your Excellency, with your indulgence, we have two questions.